So I'm sure you guys know of my slack action modification sounds that I've made for trains. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I did it. First, you're going to need a program need known as Audacity. Once Audacity loads up onto the screen, you need to make sure that you're able to actually click the loop back. So over here in this corner here, if you go to, if you see MME, Windows Direct Sound, Windows WASAR API, click at Windows WAS API. Then on your speaker here, put your whatever your headphones is or whatever your speakers are and click loop back. Once you have the loop back here, you can set it to mono recording. That way it's all into one sound bit. Find you a psych action sound video. This one I will post in the description down below. This is by Edmonton Rails. Pretty good. I need to like it. It's just the 420. Woo, but now, see, you would just want to go through it and find sounds that you think would actually make pretty good. See, I, I kind of like that one. So if we just do go here and then record, as you see, as it's recording our background. Now we just capture that audio. We can play back. And now that if I want to save that audio, I need to get rid of this part right here. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. And in fact, let's see if we can make it a little bit better. See how long the video actually lasts during this clip. So we didn't really get that much out of that. So we actually could probably do this fairly typically well. And it actually worked out pretty fine. So what we're going to do here from here is file, export, export as WAV. Now, you want it to still be in mono, so it needs to be in one track. It doesn't It cannot be in dual track. You need it under mono or else it will not work in trains. So we will put this as slack one. We'll save it to the desktop. Once saved, you should be able to find your file here. Now. First of all, you need to find to where your trains is installed. So let's go to my PC. I know this thing is about over overridden with games, but you know, forgive me. In 3V games, Trains Rebel Simulator 2019. This is where I have the game actually installed. So once you come into here, now remember, full disclosure. There might be something going on with the EULA with this. I don't know how N3V feels about messing with internal sounds, but you're doing this at your own risk. If it causes things with updates and stuff, remember to always back up your files. That way you can just come right back and have a fresh install if you want to update. See, I'm, I haven't updated up to the SP4 because me personally, I'm quite fine with SP3 Trains Plus version of TRS-19. So, once we go here, once you have the trains, your install folder, type in Slack. Now, this might take a minute as it's searching through all the files, but as you can see, it found three of them. Slack 0, Slack 1, and Slack 2. So, if we go to show more options, we can take a look at where this is. There we are. So, now that we have found the Slack folder... As you can see, these are mine. So I'm actually going to redo this one. I'm going to use this as Slack 0. So we'll rename it to Slack 0. Remember to make sure to always back up your files. I have my original file saved in another location. So replace this file here. Now there's three Slack files, and this that gives you a different form of each different Slack action. That way, whenever your cars come out, you actually have a different sound each time. It doesn't give doesn't give the same sound throughout the entire thing. 
And then once there, you're pretty much done. You can get rid of the old file, because you won't need it anymore. In game now, I decided to go to my southeast Georgia map, because obviously, as you guys know, it kind of got up abandoned, and decided to, you know, there's not a lot of stuff here, so there's not a lot of noise. So I placed in a few locomotives here, and we go back to the back of the consist. That way you guys can hear the slack action as it's going. Throw our cars down. Go in the drive mode. As you can see, as you can hear, we get all, we have the new sound in place. Let me get to where it's quiet. There we go. Now, if we listen. Now we have our new sounds. And that's basically it. If you guys want more tutorial videos, make sure to like, comment what you liked about this one if it was helpful, and make sure you join our Discord. That way I can hear your Slack action sounds and hear what you come up with. But until we see each other next time, remember, I have more tutorial videos in the pipeline, so subscribe, ring the bell, that way you can get here first thing when the next one comes out. But until we see each other next time, I will see you on down the line. Bye bye